here is the icosahedron it has 20 triangles and this is the solid that is formed if we fold the net you will notice that the middle set of triangles will form the center so we do it this way we fold this and you will see that the middle row of triangles form a ring all round and those triangles on top close on both ends to form the shape right it closes on one end and it closes on the other end to form the shape we have here the dodecahedron made up of 12 pentagons so you can see this shape that is formed with the 12 pentagon it looks almost like a European soccer ball but it is not it's not totally round it's made up of 12 pentagons the net of the dodecahedron is here so we have two sets of six pentagons and when we fold this shape up one set of six forms one half of the solid like this and the other set of six forms the other half of the solid it comes together to um, close up the solid so that it forms this dodecahedron you can actually see this by observing that the set of six pentagons on top and then at the other half it's the other set of six pentagons so altogether 12 here we have the octahedron it is made up of eight triangles in our example the triangles are equilateral triangles but they don't have to be equilateral triangles they can be isosceles triangles of which this shape will become elongated if there are isosceles triangles in this example they are equilateral triangles and there are eight of them if you look at the surface of this solid there are no squares only triangles if you look carefully this solid looks like two square base pyramids put together to form what appears to be a diamond shape so you can see that these edges here form a square but that is not part of a face of the octahedron the octahedron only has triangular faces here is the net of our solid the triangles and if we fold this up take note of these two sides fold up to join up these two ends and these two flaps come together to form the diamond shape of the octahedron <laughs>